I made this video last year. My understanding, um, business computing is like it's it's enabling a person to like um learn more about the business side of being like a business person so you can own like your it um companies whatever so i honestly don't know uh, uh, let me not even lie i am as a shame ah. as i can't even say from my understanding at this point because i don't understand anything yeah, I did not know what I was talking about last year because we had not done business computing as yet. We also started doing business computing this year. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Abongile Nguya. I am a computer science and a business computing student studying at UCT and I'm doing my second year. Today's video will be discussing the big question of what is business computing? So let's get into it. Business computing is part of the information systems major. It is not the whole thing, but it's part of it because there are courses that information systems students do or take that we don't have to take. So it's just part of it. What we focus on is the systems development life cycle, which is abbreviated as SDLC. So the system development life cycles consist of different steps. The first step would be the business case, understanding the business case we derive the user requirements and then we understand the system specifications so all of these the all these three steps they help us understand what the system is going to be about what the system actually entails right so after we have discussed that and we have discovered that we move on to how are we going to develop the system by following the steps of design and then component design then we develop we test and then we implement our system to our client but all of this is going to can be done iteratively and can also be done step by step you depends on the methodology that you use so i use the agile methodology or use the waterfall methodology but then we as you as information systems or business computing uh, majors we had to um, do both agile and also waterfall depending on us so in the first semester we um, had to do the first five steps which is the business case the user requirements system specification um, the design and the company design we had to analyze understand all of this overall for me it was such a good um, semester I even got a distinction for the first time ever <laughs> I got a distinction also take part because we had a lot of group work we had workshops and assignments so during these workshops we would discuss topics that we discussed during um, the during the week so the workshops would be on Friday so during the week we would have lessons and then we're gonna discuss the topics and then we're gonna have to um, complete a workshop the assignments were big assignments where we given a use case sorry so we given a business case which was the Pumla Gamlanti business case then we had to de derive the user requirement system specification objectives things that you would change how you would change them, the design we had to do a lot of diagrams package diagram use case diagram activity diagram entity diagram a lot of diagrams that would help us understand the system how we can design the system what the system is about um why is the system like this why are you putting this here not there you know it was all for us to understand truly how because apparently it is good to plan near than plan to fail so because when you have a a a, a very descriptive plan it's harder for you to fail because you have to follow this plan but obviously things change so that's why you have to um take notice of that by okay i'm talking too much i'm actually teaching myself now but then um we have two methodologies the agile and the waterfall methodology the waterfall methodology is hard for you to iterate to change things so that's why you would ch use the agile methodology where you can change step by step but anyways that is all for you guys to know when you do information systems in the first semester so for me it was a great semester it was a great course because it was group work and my i had an amazing amazing group a team um we were all just incredible you know all hard working we were all business computing um majors so that is why i think it was it was easy for us to you know get along and do the work actually 
but I know people there are some people who do not have a good time with their group so I was one of God's favorites by placing me in that group so shout out to my group if you're ever watching this thank you for making my semester good and making me get a distinction for the first time <laughs> Then in second semester, we had to now develop, we had to test, and then we had to implement our system. To be honest with you, it sounds fun. I mean, we're developing, we are coding and stuff, but it wasn't fun. I think anybody who's gonna do information system second semester and second year, they need to be emotionally ready for the workload that is going to just, you know, come to you so you had workshops you have practicals and you also have this big project where you were given a business case the Pumla Kamlandi the still one the, the same one from first semester then you had to derive the use cases and then from those use cases we were to develop a system for example we were given a system where it's a booking system basically sorry it's a, it's a hotel the business case is a hotel they they short of some things so you had to derive the use cases there's booking there's checking availability of the rooms there's checking of the rooms which the different types of rooms there's checking booking if the person has made booking you know there are a lot of the payment if you have paid how much you have paid um, how much is left there are a lot of things that um, in a hotel system that you had to develop from those use cases so these are the use cases and then you develop systems based on these use cases so it was so time consuming it was emotionally draining and you do this project in two in pace so it was just a lot for me I think anybody who's going to do that just know that you're gonna have to you know put on your armor of God <laughs> I'm out of Christ, honestly, and you know that you're gonna go in there headstrong. But we completed the project and it was such a success, we're happy about it. But I just think if only I did a lot of research about it, then I, I don't I don't know. But what was cool about it also is that we got to learn a new programming language. Well it was new to me, which was C sharp, um, which is an object-oriented um, programming language. So I don't know. I'll make a video about C sharp um, so stay tuned for that video but overall I think as much as it was just in very toxic <laughs> for me but I, I think it was such a good it was a good concept to be able to develop something and we also had to present our our project in front of our department you know in front of our lecturer and other two gents so we had to you had to present our thing so that's part of implementation you had to test put in test cases to show that to show that it's actually working you had to write down how did you test your your project so there's such a good it was a good concept I'm not gonna lie so we did the whole life cycle of software development in two semesters so the first semester we did um, the first five which was just designing the theory part and then in the second semester we did the development part and the implementation part so overall business computing is a good major now the question would be would you recommend business computing since you have done it as somebody's second major and my answer is absolutely I would I would honestly simply because it ties perfectly with computer science and especially is if you want to be a business analyst or a software developer because now I know I actually thought as somebody who's doing computer science I'll go into the office and just code the beginning code but no you have to first read understand the reason requirement interact with your clients design plan you know move understand which type of method you're gonna follow have a team discuss with your team there are a lot of good qualities that come out of um, business computing you know um, that are gonna help you in the future but I'll have a very specific video of five reasons why you shouldn't take business computing um, the next video that I'm gonna upload next week is gonna be about five reasons why you shouldn't take business computing but this one these um, these reasons I think are why you should take business computing because it just gives you a broader view of software development that it's more than code you actually have to you know like what I said find use cases user requirements interact with your clients and stuff interact with your team you know actually it tells you where you're strong and where you're weak I was strong in developing 
and my partner was strong in the theory part in the systems requirements so it it makes you realize Uguti, where your strong points are so i do recommend business computing 100 percent um if you are a computer science major as your as your second major i know it is not as difficult as um statistics mathematics physics computer engineering or any other um second major but don't be fooled it's not easy it is not easy i saw that it is not easy so don't ever be fooled to think that i'm taking business computing because it's gonna be easy it's not honey it is not so it is just as difficult but it's obviously it's just not in that level maybe it's because those other ones were too much for me um but this one is something i can bear and you get to learn a new language also c sharp which was cool and i'm also going to make a video about c sharp we have come to the end of the video i hope you guys um enjoyed this video and you found it informative i hope now i've answered your lingering question of should i take business computing as my second major or should i just stick with computer engineering or stick with physics stick with maths um i think you should consider business computing such a good one like i've mentioned in my previous slide it's such a it's a beautiful course <laughs> it is a beautiful course um, so make sure you guys like this video you comment you subscribe you share it to somebody who's gonna need it share it on your whatsapp because it actually means a lot and we're in the road to 1,000 subscribers which I'm excited about I know I've not been consistent but like I said information systems was just showing me flames you know yeah but I hope you enjoyed this video and I see you guys next time bye